Mike, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. How you doing? Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, excited about uh, Troopathon 2014. And uh, also, that that's just crazy, that, that phony story. I got to say, with that girl with her uh, face messed up and KFC. Yep. It's oh. a it's a real injury, but it's yep. a fake story. We, or the, you know the story about the being kicked out is fake. So right. we talked earlier, Mike. It's it's unfortunate. You know, if you gave for the for the uh, you know to the fund to help the girl, I'm sure you're like, well, wait a second, I, that was false pretenses. But at the same time, y- y- your money still goes to help a girl who was mauled by a dog. So it you know you don't want to ask for it back. I guess it's not a good way of going about it, but it still goes to uh, towards something very good. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing if you are one of these kind-hearted people out there who want to give to something real and that has real-world positive ramifications and has some uh, integrity, this Troopathon thing, is a much better use of your money. Yeah, see, now, you can put a, a finer point on that for people. As a veteran yourself, what does it mean when you get one of these packages? Uh, it, it is, it's so awesome because it, it's something outside of what you're normally provided, and knowing that it came from, you know, the person in the United States who had to voluntarily do it means all the more. I, I don't know if I've told this story uh, before in years past, but I was, uh, one of my duties in my uh, last year in the Army, it was the very, very beginning of Operation Iraqi Freedom in Kuwait and Iraq. Our, our headquarters were in Kuwait, and one of my responsibilities was uh, making sure that everyone in my battalion got their mail. And this is in the very early days of, uh, of having troops overseas. You know, we hadn't been in Afghanistan that long. Uh, Kuwait and Iraq was a very new thing to a lot of soldiers and a lot of their family members. So people didn't know what to send. People would send all sorts of stuff and sometimes, uh, you know, hope it got through. And I remember one time one of my, uh, one of my soldiers called me up from the mailroom and said, uh, Sir, uh, we got a problem here in the mailroom. And... Usually that is not a good thing <laughs> when they say we got a problem. Like, what are you being attacked or something? Like, no, no, no. no. Um, there, it smells and reeks to high heaven of whiskey. Uh, somebody <laughs> tried to tried to mail whiskey uh, to a uh, you know soldier. A family member tried to send a whole lot of it and sent it in <laughs> glass, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And it broke, and the whole uh, uh, you know room it smelled like that for a while. This is not the worst smell in the world. But the point was uh, back then. People didn't really know what they, they knew. What soldiers they, they knew that soldiers needed things uh, from home. They just didn't know what. Uh, and that's what's so great about this Troopathon thing is that these packages that you can sign up for and uh, and send you know anywhere from like twenty five bucks to like a a, a six hundred dollar company pack that goes to an entire company, which is like anywhere from a hundred to five hundred troops. It has a lot of these things that. Uh, that they know that soldiers need. You know, they have stuff like um, these really cool towels. Uh, they're called huas that uh, are, are good for field showers. A lot of soldiers don't have a lot of time to clean, uh, you know, in a regular shower. These mm-hmm. are things, hu- huas. Uh, you could, you know, you could rub all over your body and, and get kind of a, a give yourself a sponge bath kind of a thing, so you're not uh, reeking out uh, your your uh, form, your fellow. <laughs> uh, um, there, there's candy that you know these jelly bellies, Oreo cookies. I mean, what was your favorite thing to get? I, I've always said my my favorite thing, uh, and I had to I had to personally ask for this from from my uh, family when they were back home was uh, was Swedish fish. Oh, yeah. And uh, and Sour Patch Kids, those two things, those tastes in your mouth for whatever reason, always brought me back uh, home. And uh, and that's really what it's all about is, is thinking is, is is that little explosion of flavor in your mouth, and you know heightening your olfactory senses and triggering your brain to think about home, the United States, why we're here, and what we're and, and why we're doing what we're doing. Michael Coolidge with us. You'll hear him after ten with us right now talking about Troopathon Troopathon.org you, know, you can also uh, find the links on our website 1440 WRK.com a goal this year $300,000 have done $4 million in uh, the past six years so attainable goal today one of the neat things too Mike is if you give today through Troopathon sponsor one of the packs you can write a letter you can write a note to the, uh, the soldier who will be receiving the package did you get uh, personalized notes 
when you got your yeah. care packages? And I'll even tell you, probably the 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 one that uh, literally brought uh, the ones that literally brought tears to my eyes and just made me so happy were letters from kids. Uh, for, for, uh, I had a friend who was a teacher, and she had you know totally you know surprised me with a whole package of letters from her kids. You know, just like third, fourth graders. Uh, didn't know me from Adam, just some random soldier in, in, you know, in a combat zone somewhere. And just all these sweet little things like, hey, you know, thanks for serving, thanks for protecting. And I'm telling you, I mean, this is 11 years ago. All of our soldiers protecting us right now need those little kind of reminders. You think that it means something back here in a parade, but when you're out, you know, 8,000 or 4,000 miles from your loved ones, getting that little random thing from a stranger means the world. Well, and look, you know, we move heaven and earth to get a note shot off to somebody who sends us five bucks and a card on our birthday. Uh, I, I think the least we can do is maybe move heaven and earth to send somebody to the people who stand vigilant and protect us. Yeah, and and, and like I said, it, it means so much more in, in a, you know, it's getting hot, extremely hot in that area of the world. Talking about 100, 110 degrees sometimes, getting, getting to be soon, and uh, you look up and you know that you're, uh, thought about by a random stranger back in the United States. It, it, it really is. It, it really does mean the world. And you, listener, right now, can make a difference by donating to Troopathon. And like Scott and Riley said, you know that little personal message there, just a tiny little, quick little message, uh, might really make that guy, make that guy or gal's day. All right, Mike. Hey, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, guys. Always love listening.